How did we get roped into running all over creation returning library books? I understand it's all just to learn how to enter the Temple of Droplets, but this is hardly the sort of duty worthy of a great adventurer. Well, we gotta do it, Ezlo, so pipe down. This lady's still on about ringing this bell. I don't know how to do that. But welcome back to Minish Cap, you guys. Last time, we spawned a whole bunch of Kinstone prizes, so let's go grab them. And we also still have to find a library book at the mayor's cabin. Yeah, that's right, there was this weird thing. Okay. Green kinstone piece, that's good, because we needed that one shape. Hopefully we got it. Two of them, too. Yeah, it was this guy we fused with, but like in the actual town. Oh my gosh. Nobody believes me, but I saw a ghost that has taken hold of Granddad. Can't fuse with any of these guys. I can't believe old Gregal is sick. He was looking so healthy. I guess something just took... Yeah. <laughs> Three green kinstones. I was called Gregal the Great. I was even a little famous. But lately my limbs have grown heavy and I can't even stand up. How do we get rid of this thing? Wait a minute, is it Luigi's Mansion? <laughs> oh wow, it actually is. Well, I think. Get in the pot! It looks like it's working. It's just... What am I missing here? Pull it into the corner like actual Luigi's Mansion? Oh wow, that's what it is. That would make sense because they're embracing the GameCube here. Kind of crazy. All right, what's our prize for doing that? You may be right, you may be wrong, but you may be right. Thank you, my boy. 100 dope shells. Well, we got three green kinstones. Hopefully it's the shape that we needed for some of the people that, like the booger kid and the cat. Wait, can we leave, uh, this door? I guess that's just for show or something. Well, okay, that was one of the prizes that we spawned last time. We're by our starting house. Let's get our boots. There was more stuff that actually spawned over here. We already fused with the smith. I don't think we ever picked that up, though. That was by the ranch. That was our first prize. Yeah, this was new last time we spawned this. 200 of those shells. If I cared, that would be amazing. Tingle. Just out of curiosity, I wonder if he's got anything new going on. Have he found his brothers? Yeah, that's right, we gotta find these people. Well, let's just do rounds, see... Oh, the, this was the, uh... The Smith. An empty bottle, sweet. We didn't have an empty one because I have the Fairy and Din's... Charm. Yeah, that was the one from, uh, the Granddad that I was talking about, the... Or whatever. The Smithy. This was new. 200 rupees. Man, that would have been really nice in the beginning. There's something else in here. I'm surprised we still haven't opened this tree this whole time. Oh yeah! The very first mole wall. Now we can do it. There's another entrance over that way. Whoa! Normal like likes without the rupee stipulation. Blue kinstone. 50 rupees, alright. I don't know how 
want to get to that side just yet. There was something else like over this way, I think. Is down? Yeah. A red kinstone! Those are the ones that seem to have the best rewards. I don't really remember anything else over this way, but the ranch had something. A couple things. We gotta smash the tree by the ranch. And of course, we have to keep working our way towards the lake, which is by the ranch. Oh, wait a minute. We never had the piece for the second guy. There's a mole wall there. Hopefully we have it. Yes. We already got the other guy some episode ago. Oh, wow, the mountain. I forgot... <laughs> All about the mountain. I forgot this even existed. That's right, there's the hermit on the mountain still, too. Well, let's see what this is. Uh, what else was on the mountain that we could probably do? There was a four swords thingy on one of the ledges. These are definitely not real. Oh, one of them was. Is that it? No. What is this? Good thing I saw it. It's weird. Oh, okay. It's the Goron thing. That's right, because the other guy... Well... What did the dude outside just do? Because the other one did something with the Goron, I think. If I remember correctly. Well, that's gonna be busted, so... We're right by that, too. Yeah, we're one screen south of that, I think. Oh man, it really doesn't end. Wait, can I fuse with the new guy? No. I'm curious what the ultimate prize of that is. Um, yeah, definitely like over here is where that tree is. Oh hey, look who it is. What's that one's name again? We found one of them. Uh, up there, we already did, I think. Let's get this stuff. Yeah. Smack the tree. Now that we know, turn minish. And let's see what this is. And this thing has a thing that we spawned last episode. There it is. A red kinstone piece, okay. And what does this lead to, anyway? Oh, piece of heart. I'm kind of glad that I didn't figure that out until now. That, or at least revisit this tree. And then... Let's go visit the Tingle Brother. Hopefully we have the right shape for him. That'll be two of the Tingle family. I know there's four. Yes, the very first one. Ankle, that's right. And then there's Knuckle. And some weirdo. As if they're not all weird. <laughs> Have you seen Knuckle? He's my twin brother and he's dressed all in blue. I don't know where he is. And I would like to know too, because I want to see what that big chest is. Oh wait, that's right, you just jump off the cliff. Whoops. 
Okay, so we're by the lake, I suppose. We should go grab that book. Wait a minute, there's the other one. Mole thing there too. Yeah, who's this guy? David Jr. Do I really not have the right shape? Man. We gotta collect some more green ones. Oh, wait a minute. I remember editing the episode we came here, and I saw the thing popping up. Let's fuse, get it out of the way. It's a weird shape again. We gotta find more green ones. I'm gonna go back to the Goron, I think. That's the Mario 3 whistle, which was the Zelda 1 thing too, right? It's a nice callback. Um, actually, you know what? There's no way down. I'm trying to figure out how to get to the cabin we're supposed to go to. It's down that way somewhere. Hmm. Suppose we could take the whirlwind. Although I think we opened up a shortcut too, so this is just a roundabout way. This way to the cabin, yeah, okay. Yeah, I could have gone from the shortcut way, whoops. Oh well. We're here now, I think. Oh yeah, because the mole missed this thing. There we go. I really wonder what the uh, the last dungeon item is going to be, and what's even going to happen after we get that fourth element. I haven't spoiled myself. Wait a minute. Just getting the Goron thing right out of the way. One more. Yeah, we know. There's another one coming. Whatever. So, let's see. What time is it? It's 2 a.m. right now. The storms are supposed to be coming at like 6 a.m. Between 6 and 8. Watch out for tornadoes. Actually, today is the day the very first episode of this is going up. There we go. Something new. There's a heart piece up there. I guess we gotta swim to it. There's the book. Hagen's words of wisdom. If you can't solve a problem, just ram headlong into it. Pegasus boots. Book of Medora type stuff. There's a Minish lily pad. That's right, we're playing Minish Cap. Everything is a Minish thing. Here it is. We've got to be close to whatever the flipper thing is. Because this is all to get to the lake dungeon. How are we going to get to it without flippers or whatever it is that makes you swim in this game? He's lucky to land right on the lily pad. Uh, can we push this? Yeah! At last, we have the other book. Probably the last one, if I had to guess. Because everything's always in threes with Zelda. Plus it's blue, we got the whole red, green, blue thing going on. 
Nice cattails in the foreground. Oh, jeez. Well, you weren't here before. Get out of here. Those things look like they would taste like a corn dog. Am I the only one who thinks that? I know they don't, but yeah. A history of masks. Let's go return this thing. Now I want to play Mario 3 here and that. Well, not really. Yeah, how do we get that chest? That's bugging me. That mayor's a real piece of garbage. You are my new favorite person. Well, I guess the bar is pretty low. I can finally get that bookshelf on the second floor in order. Hey, Sturgeon, books to shelf. Oh, books to shelf. I was like, that's not right, but it is. Holy crap. This guy's insane. <laughs> Enjoy your browsing. All right, let's go see this. Maybe it's not library, the Minish name. Maybe he's Librari or something. I wonder how the subtitles would treat that. Librari. What's up, man? The books are back now. The books are back in town. So you brought the books back? Take this as a sign of our thanks. Well, hey, thanks. Uh... Oh, we gotta do a little shimmy. Crafty. I saw a little fuse thing popping up. Even Jotari has been away so long I've grown almost lonely. What do you need? You want to visit the Temple of Droplets? Very well, you are the first such brave person in a long while. Stand on the clover in front of me. Wait, I want to fuse with you first. No patience for an old man. Open secret mystery panel. Oh, but he had a fuse bubble popping up. I saw it. Pass this trial safely and recover the item you require. Oh, what fun. I do so love the real nitty-gritty of adventure. I like these little lines. I just smacked my hip on something. Well, not my hip, my... Whatever it is I have now, my brim? Whatever. The old fool must just love sending people on dangerous missions. How did he? I guess the answer lies ahead. Let's go. Wait, no. This looks a whole lot like where we just were. Looking for the power bracelets. I guess that would make sense if you think of the town. We're just in Minish size, so we haven't gone far. Oh, jeez. Heck. Ah, a little boomerang. Well... Take my boomerang. There they are, the flippers. Press A to glide through water, B to dive. Man, that's like... It all makes sense. Yeah, boy, does it ever. Labrari. Anything under the waterfall? No. Man, it feels so good to get the flippers in this game, too. It's been bugging the crap out of me. A frozen chest. There's got to be a fire rod or a lamp, that means. But then that swordsman guy said something about when you could jump further. Whoa! Oh man! 
Do you know what this means to just... Water is no longer a problem? It's just like in Link to the Past. When you finally get these things, it's just amazing. Okay, we gotta not be tiny. Although... This is gonna be way out of the way, but... I saw that fuse cloud popping up, and it's gonna bug me. I'm gonna forget if I don't do it right now. Watch, I come all this way and don't have the appropriate shape. Hopefully we can just flute out of here. Hi. Okay, we do. Wait! That was the same shape that the Tingle dude wanted. I'm stupid. Oh well, I guess it paid off because it was the only one I got. What the heck? A golden Octorok. Way over that way. I'm so jealous! Ah, whatever. Doesn't work. Darn it. I was hopeful we gotta climb these things. So, yeah. Four hours till death, I guess. <laughs> no, I don't know. But these tornado warnings, man. I mean, it's probably just gonna be severe storms, I'm hoping. But all it takes is that one time where the warning's actually real. Uh... This ladder is still kind of bugging me. I guess it's just to get back to the library after the flippers. I don't have the patience. I'm just gonna warp to the warp. Or... Let's go here. We haven't checked out this corner in a while. That's right, this is the very first one we unlocked. I don't even remember what's over here. That's right, we've got bombs. What's up here? Okay. There's a minish thing somewhere. Yeah. Wait. That's right, that's where we got bombs from that guy. Oh, the flippers let me go through that. I didn't even realize, I wasn't even thinking that that would kill me, tiny side. Ice physics! Ice physics! <laughs> oh no, wow, that's really bad in this game too. Normally I'm fine with it. Red Kinstone piece and a piece of heart. It's all good. That's two. Let's not fall. Man, I missed the magic mirror of A Link to the Past. We'll just go right back to the entrance and go in the next hole. I don't know. I really got to think about it. I mean, we're not done yet with this game. But between this... The 2D Zeldas that I've played now, if you were to include this, then it would be Link's Awakening and Link to the Past. Oh, this one's nice and easy, thank you. There might be another 2D Zelda that I've played. Well, Four Swords. But I don't know if that counts, because that's so short. I'm just trying to think which one I like the best. I still do like Link to the Past a whole bunch. But Link's Awakening was really good. I don't know, they're all good in their own way, I guess. Let's see if there's anything new, anybody we confuse with back here. Like this dude. No? 
Well, actually, it was just a whole bunch of dopers in here, right? Well, this dude in this building also is all this. Under the bridge? No, no empty bottles under the bridge. Oh, this guy we can, okay. Do we have it? No, we don't. We used the last one. I don't know, maybe some of the dopey guys we confused with, but I'm done here. Let's get out of here and get back to business. So we have the flippers. That's the key. We can go to the next dungeon, but not now. That's going to be like a next episode thing. So... What are their prizes? Now that we have the flippers too, that opens up so much crap. Let's take a look. I don't want to go to the mountain because I don't care about the mountain. The swamp, we were just there. Kind of don't want to go there either. The lake. Let's just do lake stuff that isn't the dungeon. this. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice and easy. There's a mole thing there we could swim to, and this guy. Yeah, I had the piece the first time I talked to him. Oh well. well how do we get up there? Minish thing, minish hole and vine. There's a minish stump. Wait, the piece of heart. Yeah. What is that now? That's the new container. And the second row. Sweet. Moving on up. Oh, here we go. Fifty rupees. Is that it? Or is there a little thingy on the wall? No. That's right, this was just some random girl in town that made that accessible, right? Now we get to that little minish hut. And this piece of heart! And this! Where is all the... get out of the water thingies? Are they all seriously kinstone related? Like we gotta talk to somebody to get the shallow water to appear? Let's swim tiny size. Oh wow, you go faster. Yeah, yeah. What do you want from me? You're after my bean, aren't you? I'll never tell you where it is, it's mine. Oh well, I did see the fusion bubble. Practicing his old man speech. Oh yeah, blue ones. We got those. Sure enough, that's a bean. I guess it is a bean. That one looks more beanish potentially than a rock. Where? It's way up there. Well, at least that wasn't a wasted trip like that one hole we fell down and weren't able to do anything with the guy in there. There was something else. It wasn't just that. That was Minish related. What did I see? Oh yeah, that's right. This. the pass you needed the ladders to get out of the water too so that's weird why is that water there yeah 
Uh, the more I think about it, though, a randomizer of this game could probably be not very exciting. There's just so many kinstone pieces compared to anything else. I don't know. I'll probably still do one eventually. I don't know when. Oh, here's the dungeon. Wait a minute, this is all new. I thought that was a, a dock that we saw already. This thing's bugging me, though. It must be... Well, I don't know what it is. Let's just go back to Big Size and see what that stuff over there on the left was. I'm not really talking about anything but the game, because... Uh, first time playing, man. Another school, really? Alright, what does this guy have to do? Wave Blade. That's a cool name. We can do it! The Peril Beam. We must have only one heart left. So it's the opposite of the usual Sword Beam, where instead of full health, you have no health? Sure enough. Do I get my health back? Hopefully. Well, that's good, though. That's another technique. We know we need seven. All seven. Oh, this is that shortcut. Okay. Well, that's open now. So that's good. That's no problem anymore, but this just loops back to, uh... Wait a minute, look at this. That is a minish pathway. I wonder if I could turn Minish at the warp thing over here by the lake and then go to it. Either that or the one on the ranch. Oh, but the bushes are gonna come back. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I don't even know what's the point. What was up with that water? Let's try the ranch one anyway. All this grass you can't walk through Minish size though, never mind. Yeah, there's a little pathway there too. Might just be rupees or something underwater. Not sure. So back to town. We can head north. Yeah, there was definitely some watery things that we'll be able to do here now, like over this way. Oh wait, that was just the bridge. But what was this? Oh, do we have to deactivate the bridge now? I don't know what's going on, I'm just trying stuff out, because I don't know. But you know, it's better. Because I don't really have much to say unrelated to the game. Oh, I want that. Hopefully it's the one the Tingle Dude needs. I 
don't know what's up with the, uh, the bridge. You can flip the switch, but it doesn't go back. And you can't go under it. But there's definitely stuff over there. There's, uh... Knuckle. Yeah. Hang on. Got another super long episode. I'm just getting carried away. I want to find all this stuff. I thought for sure there was going to be a wall thing. Why, why would they put the spongy cake stuff there? Only for there to be nothing. Well, I guess it's part of the fun. Makes it so when you do actually find something, it's more rewarding. I don't know. I really hate this absence. Oh, wait, no. This, the bridge is right there. There's no problem. I was going to say I hate the absence of shallow water. But, uh... Feels like a long time ago we were on this screen. I gotta look it up. How many kinstone pieces total are there in the game? Is there a limit? Wait. Is this another Goron? Yes, it is. Okay, that's that thing down. I wonder if that's it for this cave, finally. Yeah, it's nice to play a new game and kind of get out of your own headspace. So I'm glad, like, this game has started to get exciting. I mean, every game, it's like a book. You gotta get into it first. Please, yeah! Okay. Coming all out of the way for this dude, at least we can do it. So it really is just that one odd shape, David Jr. All of us brothers look alike, but the one in white isn't really our brother. What I can't figure out is why he tries to dress up like us, though. <laughs> That's right, it doesn't it say something like that in Wind Waker, too? Something going on up this way. Not a waste of trip, we could fuse with him. Watery spot south of us is suspicious. Oh, yeah. I remember where that is, and we activated a shortcut, so we don't even need the ladder. That's also near that poet, dude. I could see if we could fuse with him again, although he said his piece was in the inn, and I didn't stay at the inn. Oh. Well, here's that mountain. Man, we'll come to that later. That in the swamp. I feel like we should fuse with everything possible before going back. Just so that it's not a wasted trip. Since they're kind of like they're secluded areas. Let's populate them with all the prizes before we go back. That's an unfortunate rupee count. <laughs> Alright, poet dude. We can? Well, I guess since the shapes repeat, we probably just picked a similar one up. It's gonna repair the logs, that's a new pathway. Sweet. Uh, 
I don't care about your verse. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's good that, you know, like sometimes I do those randomizers of the Zelda games I've played 800,000 times, and all I do is talk about real life issues and things. So it's nice to play something where I'm too focused seeing what's going on. Like this. Random tree. Wait, what? Oh, did he? How did you beat me here? There's a stranger in his home. A dark room settles my soul, I say. Do not turn on the lights. Well, I can't. Not yet. But it definitely seems like there's a fire-based item. Uh, this goes back to the wilds, which I just said I don't want to do for a while. But there was that bean dude. It was down this way. Surely by now we will have picked up his piece. Or he didn't even let me fuse with him the last time we were in here. But now we can! I like these little Minish Huts. They're very direct to the point of what's gonna happen when you give them their kinstone. background. Oh, wow. That Paper Mario vibes way up here. Well, that was sure nice. We almost have max rupees here. We gotta go buy some more kinstones or something. You would think the flute would work way up there, but I guess not. I guess we're pretty close to town, actually. We didn't need to do that. I hope that was the shape that we needed for the last remaining Tingle Dude. Also, I wonder if that Goron ever does actually run out. They have to, right? You can't just have infinite kinstones. Uh... No, this guy... Is this shape that we need? Luckily, we have two of them. So it's okay to do it. The other one, we gotta go to the Tingle guy. Okay... I don't know what these gold monsters do. This is a super long video. Jeez. Let's just... Get the Tingle stuff out done at least. Because it really is just this one guy. trees. Beautiful. So each one has a treasure and then they ultimately lead one would assume to the big treasure that's in the same room. Let's go do it. It was just north of the town before the castle. There was something else up here though to the north. Yeah, where that yellow 
Hang on a second. Uh, nah. Kind of tempted to buy another kinstone thing, but. Because these could be rupees in here, you never know. No, it's a whole bunch of shells. Okay. Well, that's just one of them, but. How many characters are left to fuse with? It's insane. Well, there it is. Presumably just right in the middle of all the trees. Yep. The magical boomerang, oh, okay. Wait, can you control it the whole time? Is that what's... Or is it just like Link to the Past where it just goes further? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Uh, one last thing and then I gotta end this. Over here, yeah, this was the spot. There's this dock where the pizza heart is. There's a mole thing without a platform, so that's kinstone related. We know that's a yellow kinstone up there. Yeah, I guess we just haven't fused enough yet. Okay, well, this... <laughs> I can't believe it was like 47 minutes already. But thanks for watching, you guys. Sorry if talking about the game is uh, boring and not good enough. But yeah, I'll see you next time. And we'll try to do that dungeon.